Hello everyone, it's Susie for Shiny Shiny and Tech Digest and I'm here with the HTC P4350, Ooh. Um, which up until yesterday I was relatively excited about. Um, and then Kat brought back the HTC Touch and now I'm kind of thinking, meh, meh, mm. but I'm going to tell you about it anyway. But let's face it, we would all actually go for the Touch given the choice. So. Um, it's you know your traditional HTC format. It's got some metallic keys here, which look a bit plasticky, but um, when you actually touch them, they don't feel like they're going to fall apart. It's got a quota keyboard, which slides out there. Oh, um, that was me trying to set a voice tag accidentally because they've given you one of those annoying buttons on the side where you can do that. I don't like those. Um, I found that I was expecting the keyboard to come out the other side, but it does in fact come out the right side. So that was a bit of a shock, but. Um, I quickly regained my composure and carried on looking at it. Uh, now, QWERTY keyboard's really nice, actually. All the keys are kind of dome-shaped, so you don't find that you're straying onto the other side or anything like that. There are two little LED lights as well, um, which light up when you hit Shift or Caps Lock, which is actually really handy, because uh, it can be quite difficult to tell whether you're going to hit a number or a letter or whatever. So that was quite good. Um, in terms of what it's got, it doesn't have um, HSDPA, it doesn't have 3G, it does have Wi-Fi, so um, obviously if you're in a Wi-Fi zone, you're fine. It's got GPRS, um, but it's no good if you're picking up emails from things like a Gmail account, um, unless you're in a Wi-Fi zone, which I found to be a bit of a problem. Uh, it's running Windows Mobile 5, um, so it's got the Pocket MSN application, which means you can get onto your Hotmail easily, you can get onto uh, Live Messenger easily, all that kind of stuff. So. Um, but I kind of wonder if the MSN thing isn't really used by the people that use this, which generally are going to be business people. It's a worry. Um, two megapixel camera on the back, which you can see there. Uh, form factor is actually, it's quite slim, it's relatively heavy, but it's not very thick. And it's got this nice kind of brushed plastic rubbery feel, which um, is quite nice, but tends to pick up white marks, I find, if you leave it flying around your bag, which I have done. So overall, actually, you know, it's not a bad um, pocket PC. It's got a nice keyboard, it's easy to use, um, it's touch screen, but it all kind of pales into insignificance when you look at the touch. So it was exciting, now it's less so, sorry.